Hey, y'all, it's me again. Hey, hey. Me. Thank you. What's your name? And so? From what's your channel is? So and so. Right. Now, this is me, y'all. You know me. Y'all know my name, what my name is, y'all. I don't even better go into that. Now, we bet. I know, right? Like, 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 remember, remember the uh, spaghetti commercial? Anthony! Yeah. Rest in peace, Anthony, man. Anthony, damn. Damn, they took Anthony. Why, Lord? Why, Lord? Why give him back, Lord? Give him back. Um, okay, now, this is my section on female bodybuilders. And this is the spotlight on my favorite one. Yvette Boba, and she is also a porn star, but we don't care about that. And also, ooh, we got a section coming on porn stars, cause who don't Ow. who don't love us a big dick nigga that can give a bad bitch some strong stretching, right? <laughs> yeah, yes, Lord. This is not for children. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Let's go. Come on. Well, you know, I personally think that a female bodybuilder Grab the water. with muscles is very feminine. Now, you have different aspects of that. You can be too extreme to where you just... In this video, buffers are like you. My bad. Still working on the laptop, that way. Very sexy, feminine with muscles, muscles, and very sexy and a female. I really believe that. It's all against the person. Um, Me doing GTV was fantastic because it is the best site for adult porn, and I'd like to be shown in that aspect. Um, I've been on many sites, you know, as far as being out there and quite quite a few bands. And it's been on the classy side and, you know, very erotic and very central, and very sexy. And I do feel that on this particular site, that will be portrayed as well. You have your quote unquote, you know, thrush and porn, you have your classic porn. But I feel that I'm bringing something new to my fans, to people that don't even, that don't know of me, that can say, hey, man, she's sexy, you know, she's got muscle, and she's, and she's very sexy, and I like that. And I like to get turned on. To more than just one particular audience. And I'm very comfortable with my physique and my sexuality. And I want that to be betrayed to everybody when they just say, hey, sex is art. And I don't feel bad about what I do. I do compete. I've just done a few shows on now a national level competitor. And I feel that um, this is something where we're not the girl next door. And I like that. You know, we can be, I think, we're even better than the girl next door. Because society says, oh, you got to be thin to be in. No, you don't. I was at that point earlier, right before I started training, I was thin, was in, and had to be that way. No. I personally feel better with muscles, and I feel very powerful. Again, it's all about enjoying, you know, being pleasured. And that's what I want to bring to the table. It's in a different fashion, a different way. And I like to just say, enjoy, sit back, and enjoy, because it's going to be all good. And um, I'm glad that I had this opportunity to do this. And I have to thank Prue for having me here, very professional, as I said before. And it's been a great experience for me. Um, and I just want to just keep it real, keep it fun. You know, life is too short, as we all know. I'm not judgmental. I don't want people to be judgmental on me. You know, I just want them to just take me for who I am as I take them for who they are. And just, you know, enjoy life. That's what it's about. You know, don't be so close-minded to everything. Just, hey, go with that next level. Absolutely. Because you, you may not want to come back. That's right.
because my body kept me like that, but I will still do cardio on that day. You know, sometimes people say, oh my God, you know, some way I can do um, quads, you know, quads and then like, get on the stationary and buy the treadmill or the stairs. Well, I personally have found out that it hurts, helps me with my toning as well. Again, I tried to go in there and, and get a breath and kill myself. But I didn't need it. I need to get the cardio. Again, cardio is good for the heart as well. Heart is a muscle. So I do want to train that as well. And keep that pumping and stronger. I like to train in the gym. Um, I don't have a home gym at all at the present time. I don't feel that I would ever get one because I like the gym environment. I think when you're at home, you have a lot of obstacles that would um, dis dis distray you, I guess, from training. You'd be like, okay, TV, you got stereo, you got maybe your children, you know, family sort of thing. I'm totally focused in the gym, and the environment's good for me. When I was home, I would have distractions. I don't feel like I would get 110% good workout as I would in the gym. I think, as me, at this point in my life, at first, I was kind of like, oh, you're making up excuses, I'm tired, or I got this, or I got that. I don't do that anymore. I go. It's like, if I don't go, I don't feel right. If I miss two or three days out of the normal, my, uh, my training routine, uh, I'm crazy. I, I just have to go. I make it a point to go. It's my stress relief. It's my sanctuary. And when I come out, I'm feeling like a whole new woman. And it's like... It's a win-win situation because I am relieving some stress. And I'm also still continuing to keep my body tortured to keep on my muscles hard, tight, and to continue to grow. Um, I know we train in the afternoon, but if I can't train in the afternoon, then I will go in the morning. I don't get hooked up by, oh, I can't train in the morning because I'm not used to that. Or I can't train in the afternoon because I can't, I'm not used to that. Go. Coffee drinker, I really never have been. Coffee just doesn't sell well with me, so I don't drink coffee. I just basically go on my adrenaline and get the jam. It's like it's my lifestyle. It's part of me. It's who I am. My training is your bet, Boba. Without that training, I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. I don't feel like I'm 110 percent to par. So I, well, either I get in the gym in the morning or the afternoon, it doesn't matter. As long as I get in there. And then when I go in there, again, I'm so, like, I, I focus on what I have to do. I'm not in there to talk on the cell phone. I'm not in there to gossip or social. I'm in there to train. So I get in there and I train. I kill myself. I keep everything tense. Um, I'm like she <laughs> right. in the gym. And that's me, you know. I'm not, I do have a gym and I can so forth or whatever, but I do go in and train. Yes, I was, diet is like 95% of your training. You know, you can go in there and train if you gotta go like 3,000 cheeseburger and fries and then you're not gonna see anything. Consistency with your weight training is also important. You can't go in there and just two days a week and so I'm not gonna I'm not getting any I'm not seeing any results. You need to get in there more than that. You need to cut out the sodas, all the junk food. It's fine to cheat but in moderation. Okay? And that's very important. Reward yourself. Go in there and train three or four days a week and look forward to maybe having some my favorite treats or basket robins or teddy wraps. But look forward to that. So for one day, you know. But when it comes to a diet, it depends on that person's um, physique and how well they know their, their body. Some, some people go four months out, 12 weeks out. Some can go sooner than that, maybe you know, three weeks, I mean three months out, or whatever the case may be. It's the individual um, preference there and how their body can respond, how fast their metabolism is, how fast they respond to going without carbs or with carbs and not even carb depleting. Um, when you talk about contest dieting, it's a whole other facet and it can, it can, um, again, that's another thing where you never, when they work for you last year or the last show, when they work for you this show, this show. Right. So you have to kind of tweak and, and, and um, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it sort of thing. Right. But yet, you have to continually, continually 
keep taxing your body, keep taxing your diet with the load, um, low sodium, very low sodium, very low fat. I never am going to just like really go out. Um, I'm always 10 pounds away from my contest weight. The more you go up or the more you, you, you um, go further with your contest physique, the more some people have to take longer to diet. You see those McDonald's commercials, all the protein commercials, and you know, how you salivate. You know, and I don't want to, um, you know, again, it's, it's cool even if you're doing it for four weeks out. You, you don't want to see those summer commercials, but you don't get your eyes on the prize, so to speak. The main thing is your form. You don't want to hurt yourself. You know, I see a lot of guys in the gym, or, or mainly guys, that will go in there and it's the egos that kind of gets in the way. And they go in there thinking they can lift all this weight. And they're just, their form is off, they're not doing anything. It's a waste. Quality, not so much quantity, is very important. You know, and you're training. So, I go in there and test that muscle. And I know when I'm taxing it because I can do it. But I don't go in there and I don't get so hooked up on the numbers game and go, okay, I'm going to do 12 reps right now. I'm going to do 8 reps. You get hooked up on the numbers game, your body can actually go more than just 8 reps, but you're saying, okay, stop at 8. And that's not, again, over time, that's a mind over muscle connection. And it, it takes time. I myself did not learn this until way late, you know, not late in the game, but later on in my training. Okay. And this is Enzo signing off of Charlotte Carolina. Subscribe, like, and comment at the bottom of the page. And you know what he said. And we out.